Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. A few weeks ago, I asked my subscribers to send me videos of their performance vehicles. So today, I'm taking you on an in-depth tour of the first ever motorbike on the channel, a 2018 Triumph Speed Triple RS. This model comes from a line that was first launched in 1994. It is quite an important model in Triumph's history, as it helped to modernise the brand and show how Triumph can build innovative, high-level performance bikes. And in doing so, they created an entirely new genre of bike, dubbed the Naked Street Fighter. This 2018 version represents the latest and most polished version of this model yet. Finished here in crystal white with red and black decals, RS comes with a wheelbase of 1445mm, body weight of 1070mm, width based on the handlebars of 775mm and has a dry weight of 189kg. RS is powered by a 1050cc liquid-cooled inline three-cylinder engine that produces 148 horsepower and 160 Nm of torque and revs up to 10,500 rpm. This output produces a 0 to 62 mile per hour or 100 km per hour time of 4 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. All of this is of course sent through to the rear wheel through an X-ring chain. Moving to the wheels, RS comes with front and rear 17-inch cast aluminium multi-spoke wheels. The bike's braking is provided by twin 320mm discs with Brembo radio calipers at the front and 225mm discs with sliding calipers at the rear, and both ends come with switchable ABS. Stability is provided at the front by the Olin's 43mm forks with fully adjustable damping settings. At the rear, we find an Olin's TTX36 monoshock with the same fully adjustable preload, rebound and compression damping. This 2018 RS comes with a new free-flowing exhaust with a carbon-tipped titanium arrow performance silencer. The FOB features a Triumph button to unlock or lock the keyless start feature for security. It also comes with a deployable physical key at the top. Now we've finished the bike overview, we can hear how it sounds. Now we've heard the bike, let's move around the body. RS starts with two large main beams with integrated LED daytime running lights. Above these we come to an angular intake. There is quite dynamic cowling above this with decals. A fly screen visor can also be specced here. Continuing back to the handlebars we can start on the left side here where we find the clutch and beam controls to the rear. RS is fitted with a 6 speed manual gearbox with a wet multi-plate clutch. On the driver's side, we find the cruise control button, further controls for the beams, heated grip controls in addition to the indicators, then the horn and the joystick for the display. Moving from left to right, we come to the model insignia in the middle. On the right side, we start with the upright mirror and front brake. The right side grip starts with controls for lock and the hazard lights, then on off and stop start. Before moving away from this area, let's take a look at the 5 inch TFT colour display and the infotainment system. We start with the first three style options for the main display. The second style takes the rev gauge from the side and makes it central and decreases the side of the speedo. And the third style presents the rev gauge in more of a classic, curved style. Moving into the main menu, we find six options, but we can start with the lap timer where we can start a new session or review previous sessions. In trip setup, the two different trips can be reset and the second can be accessed. Moving up, Bike Setup allows the user to access indicators, to individually enable or disable ABS and traction control, and access the service schedule. The usual options can be found in Display Setup, such as Brightness, Language, Date and Clock. And finally, we can go to the riding modes to view the five different condition-specific modes. Rider, Rain, Road, Sport and Track. These affect ABS and traction settings. As we move back from the screen and the handlebars, we come to the fuel tank. It can be opened by raising the flap and then using the key to unlock it. This tank has a capacity of 15.5 litres and returns a combined MPG of 54.
Then moving down to the sides, we find raised triumph text in contrast black. We can now focus on the bike's lateral aspect. Moving inwards along the standard carbon here, we come to a physical key barrel. This can be unlocked by using the same key as with the fuel tank, and the cowl at the rear can be lifted up to reveal a small storage and access area. This rear cowling can also be swapped out for a pillion seat with rear grab handles. Moving down, we come to the standard carbon panel with the LED indicator stalk below. A slimmer version of this indicator is also available. Moving back and on the right side, we come to the front brake. The gear selector is on the left. And behind and above this, we get another look at the standard carbon guards on the Arrow Performance exhaust. So that concludes my in-depth tour and exhaust video of this 2018 Triumph Speed Triple RS that is owned by one of my viewers. Please subscribe for the latest content and until next time, thanks for watching.